you know, as he's praying, I thought about a sermon I preached one time about being present right now and, uh, and uh, being present in a conversation. Have you ever talked to anybody that wasn't listening to you? And, uh, and you keep trying to talk to them, and it's very important to you, but it don't seem to be very important to them. And uh, sometimes it can be that way as a preacher, too, I'm just saying. And, uh, and, but uh, the thing is, is when they're talking to you, and, uh, and it'd be like me trying to have a conversation with Brenda, and, and when I'm talking to her, she's looking off and looking at her watch and talking over to Vaughn every so often. Look back and say, do what now? Do what? And, stuff. and that's what I got from that is let's be present today. You're here. Let's have church. Leave all that junk outside. Put everything where it needs to be. Let's rebuke the devil in the name of Jesus, and let's just have church and give God glory. Amen. Ain't that, would that be all right? We could do that. All right, so I guess we should go from here into singing, shouldn't we? All right. Come on, Bob. We have a, I won't call him a visiting singer, but uh, I've been aggravating him because I introduced myself to him this morning. I said, it's been a long time since you've been here. He's been on the road singing everywhere, and uh, glad to see him, and glad he's chose to come be with us today. So, And I told him to sing us a few songs here. we would be awful good. So, Sing unto the Lord. Amen. I like to say that I, I love the Lord, and uh, it's a blessing to be here back in my home church today. And uh, some of you all do look familiar to me. I hadn't been here in a while, but uh, it's been a blessing to me to be able to travel to different churches and sing. And uh, I hope you all get a blessing from this today. And uh, I always like to start my first song out with I Believe. Everywhere I sing, I start out with I Believe. Uh, to me, believing is one of the key words, uh, even if you're not a Christian, in, in order to become a Christian, you, you, need, you have to believe, and uh, I just hope you get a blessing from this song. When I see the sunrise in the morning and I feel the wind blow across my face and I hear the sound of children playing I know it's all part of God's amazing grace and I believe there's a place called heaven and I believe in a place called Calvary and I believe in a man whose name is Jesus and I believe that he gave his life for me I was there the day my mama went to heaven I held her hand as she closed her eyes to sleep and I felt the power of ten thousand angels take her soul away to be crowned at Jesus feet and I believe there's a place called heaven 
And I believe in a place called Calvary. And I believe in a man whose name is Jesus. And I believe that he gave his life for me. And I believe that he gave his life. For me, got a little, little help from uh, some of my sisters today. And I hope this is a blessing for you all, because it was a blessing for me, for them to sing with me today. I thought that the number one would surely be me. I thought I would be what I wanted to be. I thought I would build a life sinking sand but I can't even walk without him holding my hand I thought I could do a lot on my own I thought I could make it all alone. I thought of myself as a mighty big man, but I can't even walk without him holding in my hand. Bless the Lord. Lord, I can't even walk without you holding my hand. The mountains too high and the valleys too wide. Down on my knees, I've learned to stand because I can't even walk without you holding my hand. I like this verse. Bless my Lord. I think that I'll make. Jesus, my own, from now on, when I'm in trouble, on him I'll call, and if I don't trust him, I feel as a man, because I can't even walk without him holding
hold in my hand Lord, I can't even walk Without you holding my hand The mountain's too high And the valley's too wide And down on my knees I've learned to stand Because I can't even walk Without you holding my Thank you, Lord. He's good, church. My sweet Jesus. I've been held by the Savior. Yes, Lord. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. And I fell on fire from above. Thank you for your Holy Spirit. And I've been out to the river. Uh, ain't the same a yeah. prodigal return. Bless the Lord. And all my hope is in Jesus. Thank God that yesterday is gone. And all my sins are forgiven. I've been washed by the blood. I'm no stranger to no prison. And I've wore shackles and chains. But I've been freed and forgiven. Not going back, I'll never be the same. And all my hope is in Jesus. Thank God my yesterday is gone. All my sins are forgiven. I've been washed by the blood. Yeah. There's a kind of thing that just breaks a man. Yes, amen. Breaks him down to his knees. Yes, God, I've been broken more than a time or two. Then he picked me up and showed me how to be a man. And all my hope is in Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank God my yesterday is gone. And all my sins are forgiven. I've been washed by the blood. Sing it with us, church. And all my hope is in Jesus. Thank God my yesterday is gone. And all my sins are forgiven. Lord, Lord, my Savior, Lord, I've been washed. Lord, 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 L
Lord, I've been washed by the blood. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You know, uh, in 2019, I guess most of you all knew that uh, I was having some medical conditions and um, I had some tests ran and uh, a couple of oncologists told me that I had stage four lymphoma. And there was one oncologist that uh, didn't think it was, but there was always Jesus by my side and uh, looking out for me. And uh, even where they'd done the biopsies and it came back negative. So praise the Lord, you know, for that with Jesus. And, uh, and even after I got saved, you know, I had some more trials and tribulations, and it took a while to get things worked out, but I'm now where I need to be, uh, home where I am. And uh, this next song is called There Was Jesus, and uh, even the ones that ain't saved, uh, just everyone listen to the words of this because um, it'll tell you what you need to know. And I hope you get a blessing from it. Every time I try to make it on my own Every time I try to stand, I start to fall And all those lonely roads that I have traveled on There was Jesus When the life I built come crashing to the ground when the friends I had were nowhere to be found I couldn't see it then, but I can see it now There was Jesus In the waiting, in the searching In the healing and the hurting Like a blessing buried in the broken pieces Every minute, every moment, where I've been or where I'm going, even when I didn't know it or I couldn't see it, there was Jesus. For this man who needs amazing kind of grace, for forgiveness at a price I could not pay, I'm not perfect, so I thank God every day that there was Jesus. In the waiting, in the searching, in the healing and the hurting, like a blessing buried in the broken pieces. Every minute, every moment, where I've been or where I'm going Even when I didn't know it or I couldn't see it There was Jesus on the mountain in the valley There was Jesus in the shadows of the alley There was Jesus in the fire and the flood there was Jesus, always is and always was. In the waiting, in the searching, in the healing and the hurting, like a blessing buried in the broken pieces. Every minute, every moment, where I've been or where I'm going, even when I didn't know it or I couldn't see it, there was Jesus. There was Jesus. There was Jesus. And there was 
Jesus, Jesus. I'm looking so forward to this uh, this day when we uh, get to heaven and we we meet our Master and. He stands before us and we know that we made it and he tells us well done well done dear faithful one uh gives you chills to just think about it but i uh, hope you get a blessing from this song One step, then two, then a million more. Sunday morning, you walk that old church floor to lift a song to heaven. Let his praises ring. Let him use your life. And hear the choir sing Well done, well done Dear faithful one Though the mountain was steep The race is run You see the Father smile Father and Son well done, well done, dear faithful one. When pain is deep and grief is great, and it's hard to make it through the day. Walk onward, soldier, for the gospel is true. And the crown and the glory is waiting there for you. Then one fine day, when time is through and we journeyed on to that land brand new shout hallelujah as you step through the gate and you feel the savior's arms and hear the angel say well done, well done, dear faithful one. Though the mountain was steep, your race is run. You see the Father's smile, Father and Son. Well done, well done. Dear faithful one, you see the Father smile, Father and Son. Well done, well done, dear faithful one.
Well done, well done, dear faithful one. Well, we put a little praise and glory in this next song. If y'all want to stand up, clap your hands or whatever, but let's, let's have fun with it. Let's praise the Lord today. I wandered so aimless, life filled with sin. I wouldn't let my dear Savior in. Then Jesus came like a stranger in the night. Praise the Lord, I saw the light. I saw the light. I saw the light, no more darkness, no more night. Now I'm so happy, the sorrow inside. Praise the Lord, I saw the light. Just like a blind man, I wandered along. Worries and fears I Claim for my own. Then like the blind man, God gave back his sight. Praise the Lord, I saw the light. I saw the light, I saw the light. No more darkness, no more night. Now I'm so happy, the sorrow inside. Praise the Lord, I saw the light. I was a fool to wander, wander and stray. Straight is a gate and narrow is a way. Now I have traded wrong for the right. Praise the Lord, I saw the light. I saw the light, I saw the light. No more darkness, no more night. Now I'm so happy, the sorrow inside. Praise the Lord, I saw the light. Praise the Lord, I saw the That's real good. Uh, he got talking about that well done over in Matthew. And, uh, you know, I don't, uh, I, I like a steak that's well done. I don't like it uh, medium well. I'm, some of you may. I, I like a job that's well done. I like a sermon that's been preached all the way through and well done. I like a church that's completely built and done. Amen? It'll be well done in a little while. But, uh, but the thing is, is it's really good to know Jesus, and it's really good to know what he's doing so you can hear, well done. Everybody's doing their own thing, and the Bible says that a man doeth these things that seemeth right unto him, but the ways thereof is death. But if you do what Jesus tells you, you're going to be well done. Well done is real good, Amen. Well done is something you can hang your hat on, something you can watch, something you can show somebody, something that everybody can see is well done. If you've been in the sun for a while, they can tell when you're well done. We're going to laugh and smile. We might cry a little bit too. Make your way on up here, Brother Jason. But I can tell you this, in Matthew it says, Well done, my good and faithful servant. Uh, you as faithful over a few things, I'll make you ruler over many. 
Now, a few things is just a few things to God. May, may, we may seem like that's a whole lot, but it ain't really. Uh, everybody's got something. When's the last time you told somebody about Jesus? When's the last time you shared a gospel with somebody? We was on this last Wednesday night about being disciples. And if you're going to be a disciple, there's things that's required of you that you can hear well done. It's to share the gospel. It's to be good to people. Let your light shine before men that they see your good works. And glorify thy Father in heaven. Amen. Come on. That's the reason the preacher preaches. That's the reason the deacon do what they do. That's the reason we take these doors open to keep them coming. But I want to tell you this. The door is open for the church if you want to come. Jesus is not in your heart. You need to come and give your life to Jesus. Can I get a big old amen? Let me tell you, don't run off to tomorrow what you ought to do today. Everybody does everything out there. If you put off with your guard for legal things, amen? They have a thing the way you run around. Bible says to quench not the spirit. Amen. If you feel like shouting, shout. If you want to stand up and testify. If you want to get up and preach or run or however you want to worship. The word is quench not the spirit. So please don't think that you have to be, be a certain way. You need to be all about our God. And he said a lot of good words right there. You know what you ought to do? You really ought to just stand up and come and pray with him right now. If God is calling you, that's what all this is about. There's, there's, I mean, you're talking about a Wherefore! Come and give this sister a hug. Come on. Welcome her home. Oh, my. God is good. 
God is good. Come on. I know there's more in the house. I know there's more in the house. Would you come on? Well, glory. Glory. <laughs> Sisters want to pray for a, a healing. She has a heart condition, wants to be prayed for. It's all confidence. Are you past the point of weary? Is your burden weighing heavy? Is it all too much to carry? Let me tell you about my Jesus. Do you feel that empty feeling? Cause shame's done all it's stealing. And you're desperate for some healing. Let me tell you about my Jesus. Makes a way where there ain't no way, rises up from an empty grave. Ain't no sinner that he can't save. Let me tell you about my Jesus. His love is strong and his grace is free. And the good news is I know that he can do for you what he's done for me. Let me tell you about my Jesus. And let my Jesus change your life. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Amen. Who can wipe away the tears, the broken dreams and wasted years, and tell the past to disappear? Whoa. Let me tell you about Oh, my tell Jesus. us about Jesus. And all the wrong turns that you would go and undo if you could. Who can work it all for you again? Oh, we have reason to celebrate. He makes a way where there ain't no way. He's the way Rises up from an empty grave. Ain't no sinner that he can't save. Let me tell you about my Jesus. His love is strong and his grace is free. And the good news is I know that he can do for you what he's done for me. Let me tell you about my Jesus, and let my Jesus change your life. Hallelujah! 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 Amen! 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 Who would take my cross to Calvary? Oh, Jesus will pay the price for all my. He paid it all. Care that much no about. greater love than this. Let me tell you about my Jesus. So oh, clap with us. He makes a way where there ain't no way. Rises up from an empty grave. Ain't no sinner that he can't save. Let me tell you about my Jesus. His love is strong and his grace is free. And the good news is I know that he what he's done for me let me tell you about my jesus and let my jesus change your life hallelujah 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 amen amen hallelujah 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 Jesus change your life. Woo! 
Quench not the spirit, I believe is what we are saying. Thank you, sis, for being obedient to his call. On your way to home, right? Heaven's now your home. The last step you ever took by yourself. Jesus called you and you stood up, didn't you? There's more. What would you like to say to them, sis? She says, just do it. She says she fought it and she didn't know why. <laughs> Good words, amen. You all think that, oh wait, he should be preaching right now. No, we're here to follow Jesus. And just like the, just like the sister decided to do. And then we're going to sing praises. You think we're the only ones singing praises? I read in the word that the angels are rejoicing in heaven over one that comes. I know what I'm going to read now. If I can find it. Hey, do you know that if Jesus is calling you home right now, you don't have to wait till an altar call? Jesus opened up that altar over 2,000 years ago when he laid down his life for this, and no greater love than this, and a man that laid down his life for you, the one that's a sinner. That's crazy love, isn't it? That's reckless love, some might say. Let me show you something why people get upset about. Will you please, if you will, turn in your Bible. We'll just see where God goes with this to Luke chapter 15. Luke chapter 15. We're going to start in verse 1. Let me read ahead and see. There's got to be that part about where they're rejoicing in one. Ain't that what doesn't say that on over in there? There we go. Okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Luke chapter 15, verse 1. Then drew near unto him all the publicans and sinners <laughs> to hear him. Well, glory, you might have heard him in your still small voice today. You might be hearing him through these beautiful singing that Brother Bobby did and these girls. Uh, you might hear it through a spoken word. You might hear it from the praise of a neighbor. You might hear it on bending knee in prayer. But thank God that they drew near unto him. And guess what he's going to do? He's going to speak to you and he's going to be near to you. And the Pharisees and the scribes murmured. How many times do we see that? Saying, this man receiveth sinners and eateth with them. Well, thank God that we have a Savior that wanted to come down to a good old sinner like me and a sinner like you, right? And wanted to come and dine with you. That way you can be with him and he can be with you. Thank you, Lord. I want to keep reading. And he spake this parable unto them, saying, What man of you having a hundred sheep? If he lose one of them, does not leave the ninety and nine in the wilderness and go after that which is lost until he find it? And when he hath found it, oh, yes, uh, he lay it on his shoulders and rejoicing. <laughs> And when he cometh home, he calleth together his friends. <laughs> oh, man, ain't that good. And his neighbor saying unto them, Rejoice with me, for I have found my sheep which was lost. I say unto you that likewise joy shall be in heaven over one sinner that repenteth more than over the ninety and nine, just persons with need and no repentance. Either what woman having, oh, that's a whole other one. I'll stop right there. Amen. What does it say again? It says that, that he was rejoicing with his friends and his neighbors. Why was the Pharisee so upset? Why did they murmur? 
Because Jesus always associated with these types of people. What types of people are you talking about? The hurt, the afflicted, the needy of the people, the downtrodden, the beat up. Oh, the people that get swayed down, torn apart, depressed, full of anxiety, full of fear, full of doubt, full of guilt, full of addiction. Jesus comes and hangs out with these people, amen? That is reckless love, isn't it? That's a love that says, I will lay down my life for you. That's good love, isn't it? That's God's love. Don't look into a religion or even a religious leaders. Because a lot of times they might be what you just see here. They might murmur. They might, they might feel like some people's on a pedestal. We don't, I don't want to ever be like that. I feel mine the lowliest of lows. I was reading this morning about Jeremiah was down in the mire is what it said in a pit. I thought I was going to preach that today, especially after what you said earlier. And it's talked about him being in a pit. And it says that he was, he was still alive, but he said he sunk into the mire. How many of y'all to feel like you're not only in a pit, but you're even going deeper. You just keep sinking into the mire of life. But what it took was some friends. And they didn't throw down the velvet rope. They didn't throw down the perfect rope. They didn't throw down the cleanest rope. It says they got the rotten rags and they tied them together and he put them underneath him. All the filth. And you know what? They raised him up out of all that. Amen. That's how he got out. And that's what Jesus wants to do to you. You know what? He says our righteousness is as what? What? Filthy rags, but he is extending the perfect hand that will get you not out of that pit, but will get you completely out of the pit and the mire. He'll do that, right? We do it just for you. We do it just for you. He will do it for all people. But I tell you what he will do. He will leave all of glory. Yes, he will leave the 90 and the 9 of the just persons. And he'll go and seek the one. That's what we just read in the Bible. Amen. Maybe you're that one today. Maybe you're that one today. Jesus took the concept of this. And he took this uh, not lightly anymore. He says, I will take you, and if you are gone astray, I will do everything I can to seek you, find you, and to call you back home. And when I find you and you come to me, I'm going to put you on my shoulders. I'm going to rejoice that you're now with me. I'm going to take you back and put you into the fold. That's a hand clap. That's a hand clap right there. Yes, it is. He came and offered the solution of salvation to who? The lepers, the lame, the dirty, the unjust, the backbiters. Amen to that. He shared a pure, unconditional love. What do you mean, Jason? He will leave all just for you. We just read that. He welcomes all sinners. And I love what the sister said. I fought it. And I don't know why. I should have done it sooner. Why did I wait, right? It was just your time, sis. This day. This day, it was yours. God thinks of himself as the only way for you. And I believe that. Don't you guys? He is the way, the truth, and the life. And he simply puts himself out there. That's all he does. Guys, we're, if you're waiting for something to happen, it already happened. If you're waiting for a sign, if you say, you know, the sign is this. He died on a cross. He was born of a virgin. He, he had all kinds of things that come against him. Betrayed, beat, spat upon to the point of death. Unrecognizable. Put on a cross only to die for you to put in a borrowed tomb. And then three days later, he arose again, showing himself into the people. He says, look here, you don't have any faith? Come on. Did you all know Thomas never put his hands in there? <laughs> He's seen enough. Guys, he did that for you, for you. 
If you are the lost lamb, if you are the sheep that is away, and you say, well, Jason, I already made that decision, but I might not have been walking the way I should be. This is for you. Let him put you on his shoulders, and that way you all can go away rejoicing, okay? His love is always this. His love is always leaving the 99 for you. Amen? That's a reckless kind of love. There is no plan B in this, guys. With this type of love, there is no plan B. He doesn't say, I'm going to die for you, but the plan B part of this? No! He says, I want to die for you so that I'll give you a way back to heaven. There's no plan B to this. Amen? The plan B is that he will leave the 99 and he will go to you. He wants to save you. He wants you to go to heaven. He will always be there for you. The 99. How many of you all was that one lost sheep? How many of y'all was that one lost sheep at that one time and he came and he found you and he put you on his shoulders and he rejoiced? How many of you all felt like you were so far away that he would never find you? Amen? Look at you. Ain't that right, brother? Had everything against you. There's no way he would love me. What did he do? That's reckless love. He says, I will leave the 99 no matter what you've done. No matter what you look like. No matter what you say. I will leave the 99 for you. Because I want to bring you home and back to the fold. There are people in danger. Let me ask you all something. Wouldn't you agree that if there's one sheep out of the fold, out there by itself, wouldn't you consider that sheep is in danger? If you're that one sheep today then we're going to say you're in danger. You're in danger if you're not in the arms of Jesus. We want you to do what the sister did. Just stand up and say, I'm ready. She didn't have to say a word. She didn't have to know the magic code. She didn't have to do the secret dance. She stood up for Jesus the same way that Jesus stood up for you. And the angels in heaven. You believe that, sis? What you just caused in heaven. Think about it. Close your eyes and just, do, just think about that. Just think about that. The angels in heaven. <laughs> the wings are flapping. <laughs> oh, my, oh, my. See, she come home, y'all. She has come home. Do you know why he leaves the 99 and every time just for that one that's in, in danger? Are you ready for this? Because you have high value. He knows that you are worthwhile. He knows that he needs to search for you, his perfect creation. How many of here feels like you've never been worthwhile or you're not worthwhile? How many of y'all go through this time of doubt in your life when you feel like you have no value to anybody, especially a God in heaven? But you know what, Brother Bobby? Just the words that you were singing. We're talking about a guy that has a love so strong, Jacob, so reckless, that he would leave that 99 for you, the one. And he's going to put you on his shoulders, and he's going to rejoice when he finds you. Now, when he finds you, he's going to do this. Answer that call. Please answer that call. Do you all believe that his love is still seeking those that are lost? Do you still think that there's one sheep at least out there in danger? And God is seeking for them? And do you believe that if that person will go to them, that Jesus will save them? Put them on his shoulders and carry them back to the fold? If you consider yourself far from God... As a profession Christian, or if you consider yourself far from God because you've never made that confession, His reckless love is so devoted to you right now. He wants you and you and you only. You and you only. So sacrificial, He gave His own life. Amen? Will you come and clean this up for me? Nothing will ever interfere with His love for you. Nothing will ever get in the way, sis, of His love for you. There's not going to be a time that my Jesus would not love you. There's not going to be a time that my Jesus will not forget you. 
There's not a time that he won't forgive you. There's not a time he's not going to give you grace. There's not a time he's not going to give you mercy. There's not a time anything that you have. You have everything that you need. And you know what? The only thing you should want is to go to heaven. And you made that sacrifice today. Thank you, sis. Amen, right? A love that is so devoted that you can give that today. What does it say the only thing can separate? Nothing can separate us from the love of God. That's exactly right. So here's what I want you to do today. You say, Jason, I've been sitting here over and over and over. I've heard the warning. I don't know what to do. I'm going to make this real clear to you. Stand up and run to Jesus. Just go to him. If you was lost out there in the world and, and you was all alone, sound familiar? And you didn't know where to go, where to turn to. You didn't know which way to, even to go. But you saw somebody coming, looking for you. All right, what would you do? Oh, God, here he comes. Would you do that? Run to Jesus. Don't hide from him. Don't turn and go. Brother Greg Antio, don't you don't want to do that, does he? Man, look for me, I don't know. Run to G- I tell you what, if I was lost in a place deserted, I feel like it, and I saw someone come on to help me, I would run to, I would probably wipe my eyes and say, Who is that? Who's that someone coming to help me? And go. I would stand up and go. Amen. Be found. You know what the sister did? By her standing up, it was like saying, here I am, Jesus. I want to be found. You know, I'm going to duck in behind the desk. I'm sorry, this is going a little bit longer than I thought. A 99, I mean, what all can you say about that? But you stood up and you was found. You stood up, sis. You said, here I am. SOS. Here I am, God. Come. I'm the one that's lost. I'm the one that needs you. Amen. Stand up and be found by him. That's what we need to do. Don't make it complicated. Don't let tradition or anything else. Don't worry about the the sermon that I was studying for whenever next time was about Jeremiah. And you know what? He was warning the king. I want to preach both of them a little bit. This is Jeremiah 38 if you want to go read it another time. But let me tell you what he was doing, Brother Patrick. He, He was prophesying until this king that he didn't want to hear. And this king kept ignoring him. He kept ignoring him, throwing him in the dungeon and all that of this upcoming thing. And the king says, tell me this secretly. Tell me this secretly. Don't let the other people know. And the king still did not adhere to the warning. And everything happened that he said was going to happen. But he says, don't do this because the people will mock me. Pride? Worry of what other people think? I'm not going to go to Jesus. What would they think of me now? How would I behave at work and all that stuff? Sis, this is what you do. You have to do anything else. You just let your light shine. You go tell people. You say, I was saved today. Why, I thought, why did you need saving? Because I was lost without Jesus. Hey, I gave Jesus my heart. I'm not perfect now, but I'm being perfected. Did you know that? King Zedekiah did not. Listen to that warning because he was worried about being mocked. Is that what you're worried about? A tradition or what your family might say to you? Thank God Patrice didn't worry about what I would say when she, got, when she gave her heart to the Lord. You say, let that man come to the Lord and whole household. She came to the Lord and now the whole household. Maybe you're the one. Maybe you're the key. Maybe you're the one that will show the rest of the fold how to get there. Amen. I'm going to get this up. Jake, what does that song say in, the, in Reckless Love? I should have had you all ready to sing it. Does it say there's no shadow you won't light up? Wait, no, no shadow you won't light up. No mountain you won't climb up. What is it? Coming after me. Guys, let's all give Brian Honey a hand back there. I mean... Come sing the come and sing that part. Deanna, can you sing? Can you play that real quick? Oh God, I just made him sweat.
Why is he singing this for? Because I want you all to know that there's a reckless love that leaves the 99 for you. spoken word you were singing over me you have been so so good to me before I took a breath you breathed your life in me yeah yeah that's right So, so kind to me. That's our Jesus, isn't it? Oh, the overwhelming, never ending, reckless love of God. Oh, it chases me down, fights till I found, leaves the 99. I couldn't earn it. I don't deserve it, still you give yourself away. Oh, the overwhelming, never-ending, reckless love of God. Another. Why they're singing? There's no wall. There's no wall. You won't kick down. Why you won't from you. You can go over it or under it. You can tear it down. After me. Is there another that want to come and accept Jesus into their heart? There's no right shadow now? you won't light up. This is where you start. Your walk you with Jesus. This is where you start the journey. To and hear, well done, my good and faithful servant. There's no lie you won't kick down. Lie you won't tear down. Woo, coming glory. after me. Would it be another? There's no shadow you won't light up, mountain you won't climb up. We just keep preaching, then we talk to praise, and then somebody gets saved. Preaching and praising, somebody gets saved. There's no wall you won't do what God tells you to do. That's why you won't tear down, coming after me. Would it be another? Oh, the overwhelming, never ending, reckless love of God. 
you'd like to experience the love of God in your heart by accepting Him as a personal Savior? Would there be another? I couldn't earn it. I don't deserve it. Still you give yourself away. Oh, the overwhelming never Is God dealing with your heart? <laughs> Would there be another as they're playing Southward? Bell Shazar was having a big party one time. And it said that they were using the temple cups that they should have been using for worship and they were just drinking in them. And all of a sudden there was a hand appeared upon a plaster wall there in that room where they were at. And it started writing, Mena Mena Tekel And you know, he was wondering, it troubled him that he seen that. You know, the handwriting is on the wall right now. We know if you don't accept Jesus Christ, your personal Savior, hell is waiting. But if you accept Jesus as your personal Savior, then heaven and eternity and well done is waiting on you. That to me can't be even thought about. It's time to come. It's time to come to Jesus. This old world's rolling up like an old garment. It's getting placed and put away because of the things that's going on. And you can look around you. Now, it may last a long time, but will you? The urgency of the message is, is are you going to give your life to Jesus before it's everlasting too late? Now, I want you to come and experience what it is. But if he's right with you, knocking on your heart right now would be a good time for you to come. You're a candidate for salvation. Would there be another? Why they're playing. No one you won't kick down.